All right, let's do a photo carve. A little bit trick. We're gonna create, that's good. I'm just doing two foot on the X, three and a half on the height. It's not gonna be that big. That's just what I'm gonna start with there. So first thing we need to do is find a photo. We're gonna do this photo, put that in. This size that. I'm just doing 24 inches in height, I'm letting it automatically do the X. Center that. Now we need to create a vector around our photo. Got the vector, apply, close, then select all. Now we have our vector around the photo, got our photo. Come over here to Photo V Carve. And I have it set. This is just what I have my uh, settings already from the last one. But uh, my depth of cut, I'll go 0.7. 0.08, I mean 0 0.07, 0 0.08, um, that, yeah, usually just stay around there is what I do. If I step over retract, uh, go 0.09 to 0.1, um, that's about all I use there. I usually just do the raster, 33% on the angle, um, my line spacing, 90%, 100%, 105%, you know, in that area is what I usually do. Now, what I suggest is you play with your line spacing, play with your angles, play with your step over, um, trying to get the best detail out of it that you can. Um, also be mindful that your line spacing will vary depending on what you're cutting, um, whether you're doing, you know, maple or MDF, um, and what type of MDF you're cutting. But, so, let's see what we got here. I like to change, do a color fill. Uh, my color fill that I'm doing here is just gray, 80%. It just helps me see a little bit better what it will look like, but, yeah. So, this is that photo without any changes, not doing nothing, you see it's pretty dark. Um, not a whole lot of contrast and bright detail, what have you. It is kind of dark down here. Can't see really legs, can't see feet. Uh, the German Shepherd down here is kind of blending in quite a bit. I'm not really liking that. As you see, the white or the light colors will be the surface because it's not carved as deep. Um, I don't like to have a whole lot of that surface on the face and you know, up here where you have no carving it's showing down there but in the sky and the other road back here but so I I looks pretty good but I'll change this photo up a little bit now changing the photo up I have a couple options come back out here so you can do select the photo and go to picture editor. Okay, my computer wants to think. All right, in picture editor, you can adjust your contrast, your brightness, what have you. You can put in grayscale. So you can adjust things on here. So I'm gonna say Oh, yeah, and play with it now to find what's gonna work best, but 
what I find that works. Sorry about that. What I find that works best for me is not using this at all. What I do is I'll use Photoshop. So lots of different options in Photoshop. I am by no means anything near proficient with Photoshop at all. It's usually just, uh, well, luck and, and, you know, just trying things out. But so I take this picture. This is the original form here. Um, what I did is I changed colors because you don't have any colors with the V carve. So you could adjust the colors to bring out contrast that you want in that photo. So I adjust colors here um, and bring better contrast, brighten this up, like with the with the German Shepherd down here. And remember in that first preview we did, had really no detail down here. Had a lot of white, a lot of brightness over here. So we'll see how this picture goes in. So we'll go back over here. Select that picture, we'll just delete that. So that one here, I will resize that. And I'll bring that back into that vector we did earlier here. Go into a line. There we go. So now we have that picture. We turn the colors way down and do a little more contrast, but I'm already seeing down here, see how dark this is here, but let's see how that one carves. I'll go back here and we'll use the same settings as we did. That'd help if I selected. So that's much better. We have some detail here. We do have quite a bit more detail there. We still have a lot of that white still showing there. The flat area is still showing there, which is fine. I think that would still look pretty nice. But let's see if we adjust things a little more. I'm gonna delete that picture. If it wants to. Alright, so what I did from here is very minor changes. All I did is adjust contrast in that if you come over here to images, adjustments, and you can change your brightness and contrast, uh, your hue saturation, this is what I use a lot to change the colors, what have you, for my photo, photo V cards. So I could get some of that detail, especially like some of the background detail, details in the faces and what have you. I use hue and saturation. So I've already edited this one and saved that photo. So let's go back in here and pick that one. Twenty-four inches, and I'll center that one again. Yeah. Just use the same settings. And see, I like that much better. Have a little bit there, but I'm okay with that. So 
So I think that'll be the one. Yeah, so what you can do is change your job size so you're not having such a large board on there. It's, uh, it really doesn't matter though. It's up to you. So I'll save that and prepare the board. <laughs>